look, people think Will and Kate are closer than ever. Sometimes perhaps these things come along to test our uh, unity. But that's what the video is going to be about today. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, this uh, love affair has been going on for a long time, from the... Uh, 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 see-through fashion show that Kate uh, had to the weighty Katie headlines for so long and uh, the birth of each one of those beautiful children and um, and then the crises that have happened along the way and the sad uh, situation with the brothers now so that's what this reading will be about so these cards are the ancient Italian tarot these are low scarabio cards and um, they're very interesting. What happens here, if you're used to, they harken back to like the 15th century, the mid 1400s, where um, uh, tarot is, is, is supposed to have uh, originated. And uh, the guidebook that comes with these is not too difficult to read, although the writing is kind of small, but it does come in several different languages. So uh, you can look that up and see uh, if your language is here, if it's not uh, English is your first language. Um, so it's a useful little guidebook, although, although generic. And uh, the cards themselves are beautiful actually the backs of the cards are nice the size of them is is useful and then but the, you'll see here that the divination of these cards um, you really have to know uh, your rider weight system to make sense out of a lot of these cards the court cards and the major arcana are not too hard to figure out that what they are and who they are but uh, some of these uh, other cards you know it really takes a, being familiar with the deck and knowing your uh, system that you're going to use to uh, um, to come off uh, as, as if you know what you're saying about these cards. So there's that. So, and you know, these cards were originally created uh, for playing a game called Tarachi, I guess is how that's pronounced originally. And they sort of uh, became uh, divination cards later on. So I like to, and I have a thing about my cards is that I really don't like them to come out upside down because I'm not confident in my divination of upside down cards but so that can be an issue with some of these because you don't really know and I guess it doesn't matter with these if they come out inverted or not but um, so that's what you've got if you're thinking about getting these cards um, that's what you're gonna uh, deal with there okay so this reading is going to be on Prince William and Duchess Kate and um, people are saying that they're they're closer than ever now, which makes perfect sense. I mean, you know, with all the controversy swirling around them, his his elderly father, who doesn't look to be in great health to me, is uh, going to take the throne any any time, and then he's going to be left after that with patching up whatever uh, happens during Charles's reign, and he's going to have to stew on those decisions. Uh, about what he might do uh, regarding Charles's reign for years. I mean, it'll be years before he'll he'll won't, will be able to make any kind of decision along those lines. So, this is just a general reading about the energy around Prince William and Kate, and uh, they say that they are closer than ever. But before we do that, let's take just a, no. I can't leave those cards like that. Let's take just a minute. Interesting for some meditation. Okay, so Prince William and Kate, Prince William and Kate, Prince William and Kate, Prince William and Kate being closer now than ever. Let's just have three cards right now to see if that's 
actually the case. Prince William and Kate, are they really closer than they've ever been? Three cards. Okay. Prince William and Kate, are they closer now than they've ever been? Signifier card of that is the uh, King of Swords. So the King of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. This is a very strong yes card. And the King of Swords is, is this is William. The next card for this, then, is this three of coins. You know, coins are value and and uh, and worth and sometimes money, but in this case, it's value. And the three of coins speaks to us of putting something together for public display, a collaboration, getting the, the best uh, minds together to put this thing together that the public is going to have a look at. Yeah. And then the last card for that, with this nine of wands, the nine of wands is really being embattled. Okay, it's really uh, having gone through a lot, and uh, but still ready to pick up that uh, baton and carry forward. So, are they closer than ever? Yeah. So this is uh, the King of Spades, big yes card. This is William holding on to truth, justice, rules, and law. This is the two of them uh, putting together their 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 selves for public display, all of their value, so the public can see. We're here. We're waiting in the wings. We're ready to uh, make this monarchy something that you can be proud of. Look at our family. Look at what we're going to do. And understanding with this very last card being this nine of wands, this embattlement, these plans, these actions, uh, this uh, forward movement, uh, that's waiting uh, for them uh, to have to deal with. So let's just see what the cards can tell us about William and Kate in six cards about uh, their being closer than ever. Uh, so William and Kate cards. What can you tell us about William and Kate and the unity uh, that they're having right now? Well, they've always had it, looks like, honestly. But William and Kate, what can you tell us about that? What can the cards tell us about William and Kate and their joint venture? <laughs> so, William and Kate. So, yeah. William and Kate's unity. What can the cards, the six cards, tell us about that? One, two, three, four, five, six. William and Kate's unity. What can the cards reveal to us about that? Okay, the signifier card for William and Kate's closer than ever. Okay, so this is the Ten of Wands, and the uh, Ten of Wands, again, is just really uh, having so uh, much um, to deal with. It's a heavy load to push up the hill. The Ten of Wands is just telling us, as a signifier of this, that uh, the future is going to be uh, a challenge. The uh, challenge to that, then is, okay, the Two of Pentacles. Pentacles are value, worth, it can be money, but this is value, and the Two of Pentacles telling us that there's a, a, a balancing act that has to be done here, uh, and that's the challenge to all of the potential of problems that are going to be facing them. The base of this reading is, uh, okay, the Queen of Wands. Why are William and Kate closer than ever? Because she has proven to him that she is the queen of actions, of plans, of forward movement, okay? This queen is willing a huge wand. Okay, it's reinforced at the top. This is Kate. The past of this reading um, is uh, the chariot. And the chariot just tells us that the, the, the things are, are coming along at a pace uh, more rapid than uh, you would have expected. Okay, and this is the king uh, riding in that chariot. This is William. The sky of this reading um, with the wheel of, wheel of fortune. Okay, of course this is true. Uh, it's the wheel of fortune. The king is on top here, which is uh, the Queen Elizabeth. This is uh, King Charles and eventually King William. And look, trouble, the devil, this uh, wolf, this uh, f is, is crawling up the wheel of fortune. He's not far. Usually, you'll see this symbol towards the bottom of this wheel of fortune. In this deck, we've got this, this bad news really clawing its way up towards uh, the, the throne of power. That's very interesting. And then the uh, likely outcome, uh, Will and Kate closer than ever. With this three of swords, this is a broken heart. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And, you know, I've seen this in other forms and readings for William and Kate and the kids. Uh, I'm just wondering um, about his reign. 
eventually. Let's do uh, four more cards to see if we get some more clarity on that question. William's reign with Kate. William's reign with Kate. Okay. The, sign the self of that question, William's reign with Kate. <coughs> okay, this is uh, the five, the major arcana. This is the hierophant. This is the government. This is representing the monarchy. Okay, this signifier here is speaking directly to the monarchy. The uh, environment that that's in is this uh, Ace of Pentacles. That's the value of, of the issue of the monarchy, of this whole situation. It's a great, big, solid, obvious, noticeable amount of value to be dealt with. Okay, monarchy and the value. The hopes and the fears for all of that, judgment, okay, is judgment. I'm going to tell you, this makes me think that something's going to happen to William during his reign. Judgment. And uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing is, again, this Three of Pentacles going back to putting something together for public display. There's going to be a repair. There's going to be a collaboration. There's going to be a working together to, um, to um, protect that monarchy at some point. That's what that says to me. So the question had to do with William and Kate um, uh, closer than ever. And we showed the Ten of Wands, which is just being so embattled. That's the signifier card. And the challenge of it is finding that balance with this Two of Pentacles, this Two of Worth. The base of this whole thing is Kate herself, a queen with a huge plan, a huge, strong uh, defense. The past of it is this uh, uh, chariot with the king inside and showing us that this is coming along sooner than um, we might think. Okay, And then in the sky, with this uh, wheel of fortune, but with trouble crawling its way up to the top towards the king, uh, is, is a caution. Uh, the likely outcome of the first part of this was this uh, three of swords, which is a heartbreak. Okay, a challenge, a disappointment. It's a disappointment, let's say. Then for the signif signif for the, the self of that question about Will and Kate being closer together, it brings us right back to the Hierophant, the government. This is the monarchy, though. This is the monarchy. And uh, the environment that that's in is the value of the monarchy, this great big ace of pentacles. And the hopes and the fears are the judgment that's going to come down. Regard this is judgment regarding whatever Charles does, whether how, how William recovers from that. And then the final outcome, but it also makes me think, because I've gotten so many uh, little hints in past readings that there may be some problem with William being on the throne. Uh, something could happen to make him not be on the throne uh, 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 during his reign. And then the, uh, the final outcome of the whole thing is his Three of Pentacles, again, coming back to putting something together, collaboration with the experts on pu for public display. You know, you can only hope that things are reconciled in a timely manner and uh, that whole family comes back together uh, in the public eye. We don't know what's going on behind scenes, but uh, for all of us to enjoy. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.